<laughs> Hello, Kimmers. How are you doing? So, good news or bad news? I cannot say, but admins of Hypixel Skyblock have just released the solo dungeons into Skyblock. On what consequences? <laughs> Because every time there is an big update like this, most of the time it hasn't go well. Like inflation during garden update, dupes during crimson isles update, and tons of bugs here and there. So now as a dungeon slubber, today in this video I'll be analyzing all the consequences of solo dungeons and also we will find out the positive impact in the game and players who plays the game. So without any further ado, please hit the like button and let's jump right into the update. But before we start, like always, I have a question. Was adding solo dungeons into Skyblock a good decision made by admins? Well, after watching this video till the end, I'm sure you will be able to answer me this in the comment section. So I will request you guys to watch this video till the end. Number 1. Until today, there are many endgame players who uses or has used alternative accounts or bot accounts to label the pairs running floor 6 and have made tons of money as well as some of them have been banned. But now, with solo dungeons, they will have very slight risks of getting banned while leveling pairs. However, if pet leveling was their main source of money making method, solo dungeons will now completely ruin it. For example, if someone's name was XYZ and he was leveling up Golden Dragon with Frag Bot and running into floor 6 several times and was selling the pet in auction house for billions of profit, so now with solo dungeons being a thing, people might just level their pet by their own. Number 2. With solo dungeons, the price of diamond handles um, laser eyes will be going down drastically as there will be tons of players than before who will start to do floor 7 frag runs. However, this is good thing for Iron Man players and also the players who grind items for themselves. But if frag running was someone's main money making method, now with solo dungeons, it will be no too less profitable. Number 3. Solo dungeons will now able to allow players to get boss collection from floor 1 to floor 6 pretty easily. However, it will also increase the number of diamond heads in the auction house, decreasing the price of value of item itself. So with solo dungeons, people now will no longer be able to flex diamond heads like before. But once again, diamond necron head price will be pretty much high as there are very less number of players who can solo floor 7 and 0 to 10 players who will want to play solo floor 7 for diamond heads. Number 4. Catacombs 50 or class average 50 will no longer be considered as flex for especially endgame players. With solo dungeons being a thing, it is very very time taking but not impossible to play 6000 master mode floor 3 to get catacombs 50 with solo dungeons. Like solo catacombs 50 grind, class average 50 will be achievable by the time. I know it will take much longer to achieve these things but still achievable means possible. Number 5. Along with getting catacombs 50, solo dungeons will make party finder worst as well as best at the same time. If people get into solo dungeons for clearing practice or secret route practice, then solo dungeons will be win-win situation. However, if people enter solo dungeons to increase their secret counts and secrets per one count, then finding good players from party finder by looking their secret count will not be viable then. So, after looking these 5 points, I can wrap up my analysis for solo dungeons. And personally, I will rate this update 0 out of 0, as all these points have same number of cons and pros at the same time. Solo dungeons will completely ruin many money making methods for players, but it will also help normal players or Iron Man players to get items for themselves too. On that note guys, comment down your thoughts and ratings below. I will see you guys in the next video. Until then, complete the likes and consider subscribing. And uh, thanks for watching. <laughs>